dear light warriors all over the globe, a very warm welcome to this safe space of the Light Warrior Collective. Great to see so many familiar faces and also very happy to see many new faces as well in this, uh, in this session. I'm Wouter, I'm your tech host for today. If you have any technical difficulties, send me a direct message and I'll sort you out as soon as possible. And for the further introduction of today, I would like to hand it over to our beautiful host, Inken. Thank you very much, Wouter. Yeah, a warm welcome to all of you beautiful people also from me. My name is Inken Stolai, and I love to be one of your hosts of the Lightware Collective. Every Sunday at the same time, we are here for you, happy to serve you, happy to inspire you. And so that uh, hopefully you leave the call prep for your upcoming week with a raised vibration. The sessions of the Light Warrior Collective are very unique because every guide is very unique. And uh, we kind of handpick the people, the special guests that come into our safe space of empowerment. And uh, we are very proud and we feel blessed to have so many amazing souls uh, coming here, supporting us, co-creating with us uh, really special moments of connections with all of you. I really appreciate all the loyal participants that have been with us these last years and that show up on a, on a regular base. And I'm always happy to see new faces to tap into the space and, and get, get a glimpse of what we are doing here for you. So thank you very much for being here with us today. Our very special guest today is a very, very special guest because she is one of our core founding members, Lisa. And Lisa is um, she's really such a powerhouse and huge inspiration. And I feel she really um, has a huge impact on me. And I feel everybody that pathway um, with Lisa um, is, is deeply touched by her impact because she has such a wisdom inside of her and so much love to give um, that uh, yeah you you always want to want to be in touch with her and um, I am sure that the session today that she prepared for you will will deeply impact you and stay with you and um, I I really want to say thank you very much for coming back to us, Lisa. We feel blessed to have you back with us today and uh, to reconnect in this way with you because you really co-created a lot uh, in the beginning for the Library Collective and we wouldn't be here where we are today without you. So goosebumps, my heart is wide open for you. <laughs> so happy to have you back. And uh, I hand it over to you and can't wait to get started and uh, follow your guidance and your beautiful voice. You will all love her voice. It's so calming. It's so I could listen to her for hours. You, you will feel that. <laughs> <laughs> we are yours. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and can that's, um, yeah, it feels wonderful, wonderful to be back. And I was very honored to be asked to uh, come and, come and do this today and I, I just feel it's really apt at the moment because we've there's so much pressure on us at the moment and I'd like to give you a little bit a bit of backstory so you know I've, I've called the talk today um force or or do you know and this is my own experience um for those that don't know I'm, I'm a mindset coach um, I was living the dream, living out of a suitcase, living in Bali most of the time, um, actually really um, having the most amazing, amazing time. And uh, then life as it does turns us upside down and I found myself back in the UK, which was not part of my plans <laughs> in the slightest. And the one thing that I'd been doing before I came back here was learning to, to surrender. And surrender is a word that fits in beautifully with with what we're talking about today. And surrender is that faith 
that total trust. And I'll just give you <laughs> a little bit very quickly. Um, today, I had a lot going on. I've just finished 12 at uh, 7 12 hour night shifts this morning. Um, I had a lot to do. I was volunteering this morning, had a lot of stuff to do. Thought, right, I won't go to sleep. Anyway, got back at lunchtime and I was actually really exhausted. Now, I was supposed to go somewhere else before here and then, and then come back and do this. So I just went into surrender and I said, I'm going to do whatever I need to do and the right thing will will come. And here I am. So I haven't been the else, the else place. I went to sleep. I woke up. Um, and this is just, I know in here, that this is perfect exactly as it was meant to be. Now we talk about having faith and yet we often don't really have faith. Yeah. We might have the, um, the visualizations and all that kind of stuff, but there's a little bit of something in us that doesn't quite trust that it's going to come good or it's going to be whatever it needs to be. So, my, my backstory is I found myself back in the UK, which was totally not what I planned. I'm not coaching at the moment. Um, or I, I'm a little bit, I'm doing a little bit quietly, but um, not that's not my main thing. Now, if you'd told me a couple of years ago that I wasn't going to be doing this, I would have said, no, don't be silly. <laughs> this, this is exactly what I'm meant to be doing. However, because of the surrender process that I've been going, the practice that I've been going through, and if I'm honest, this has been happening. I've I've had this surrender process all my life, but it's been some unconscious. I've always known, even as a kid, I've always known in here. And I talk about, I talk, knowledge is up here and knowing is in here, in the heart. And for me, they're two very different things. We can know things. And how many of us have done workshops after workshop after workshop? We know it in here, but somehow we don't integrate it in here. So it's what I call knowledge and knowing. And having that knowing is that, that faith, that trust. And Incan, you said very beautifully earlier on that I have wisdom. And yes, I like to feel that I have wisdom. It's not my wisdom. What's happened is I finally learned to trust and surrender to something much bigger. And you, that can be whatever you want to call it. I just call it energy because that's, for me, what it is. But to trust that that is... I'm a piece in the puzzle and somebody is putting me into place instead of me saying, oh, this is where I want to go. I want to go next to that piece there and that piece here and that piece here and that piece here. You know, I'm being put in wherever I need to be in that particular piece of uh, that particular puzzle. So for me, it's um, it's really about trusting the process. So what we're going to do today is just talk a little bit about um, forcing, <laughs> doing, being, and then we'll take it through a little bit of a meditation. And I, I encourage you to explore. If you've got pen and paper, great. We can play with that. If not, that's fine. We can we can just do it in, a, in our heads. Uh, so have, have, just interested of any thoughts that you have on force or flow, do or be. What does that mean to you? And are you feeling that you're having to force things, having to make things happen? Or are you allowing things to happen? Okay. Yes, Renata. Uh, thanks, Lisa. It's as beautiful. Thanks to Wolfgang, Wolfgang. I'm here. <laughs> and for the entire week, surrendering is the theme that's coming up basically every single day. <laughs> so I'm so grateful for what you're doing here. And I can't wait to dive deeper into it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So we're in we're in a society at the moment. We're in a time which is telling us that to make make things happen. Yes, we've got to make things happen. And something that really hit me, um, I went through a very interesting experience a couple of years ago, just literally a week before I came back to the UK. And at that point, I had no intention of coming back to the UK. Okay, but I went through a bit of a bit of an experience, shall we say. And I just suddenly realized one day, this is where I need to be. I need to come back to the UK. And like I said, this was not part of my process. I had been trying to make it happen to get to Albania. 
<laughs> I was trying to make it and I was trying to do things to make it happen. And it didn't, it didn't happen. Nothing lined up. And then within a week, I actually found myself back here. Now I could have resisted that. <laughs> I could have, <laughs> boy, let me tell you, I could have resisted because this was not where I wanted to be. However, because of the work I've been doing on surrender, it's about trusting and knowing that this is right for me right now. Okay, I'll just give you a little example. I came back to the UK for three months. Um, I've been here three years now. And I uh, couldn't get back. Um, Indonesia and Australia both went back, both went into lockdown before we did here. So I couldn't get, I couldn't get home. I couldn't get back. And it was like, oh, what am I doing here? You know, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I pro surrendered to the process. Now, that first year, my children's father died. And at that particular time, I couldn't have got back into the country had I not been here. Now, I can't imagine as a mother, and my children, they're in the 40s, they're not, you know, they're not babies or anything. Um, but I, I could not imagine not being able to be here to support them. Yeah, to be on the other side of the world and not be able to, to be with them. I was able to be with him before he died, and I was able to be with my children through that whole process. So for me, that's what surrender was about. It allowed me against what I thought I wanted, but it put me, it put that piece of puzzle exactly in the right place. Okay, so I know, like, I don't know why I'm still here. I know that there is something else is going to come up that is going to allow, allow or show me clearly why, why I'm here. But it was very much about trusting the process. Okay, I don't know why I'm here because I really didn't want to be here. I was trying to find somewhere else to go. Okay, I was trying to make things happen. But I've come back here and even though it's not where I, I think I want to be or where, uh, where I, certainly where I thought I wanted to be, it feels where I need to be right now. I know it's not going to be forever, maybe another year, but it's a feeling and that wisdom you talked about income is just that it's not the wisdom it's just tapping into something that is so much bigger than me and instead of me taking control and saying this is what I want to happen which by the way is contrary to everything I've been teaching for the last last 30 years <laughs> you have a goal you've got to reach for it you've got to go for it keep moving towards it and it's a real case of just stepping back and my favorite saying is about creating the space to allow something to happen. And as parents, this is what we do. We create the space to allow our children to grow. As a teacher, as a coach, it's about creating the environment for growth or for learning. So it's just about creating that space in our lives to allow something to happen, not what we think is going to happen. We're not trying to make an outcome happen. We're trusting the process 100% and allowing something to happen. So I just encourage you all for a moment to just think about something in your life. Now, there will be something in one area of your life. It could be your health. It could be your finances. It could be a relationship. It could be whatever. Just take a moment and write down or just make a note in your head of something that you've been trying really hard to make happen and it hasn't happened yet. Okay, so just take a moment to just think of something. And if you want to share, great, um, just put your hand up. But if you don't, that's that's fine. This is your personal, personal thing. But where is something in your life that's not quite flowing as much as you would like it to be? Yes, Renata. I am in a very similar situation. I am living in Thailand as a German. And for the last two years, I know that I live here. And I am not moving yet because I don't know where to go. As yeah. you said, Germany is like, no. That's the biggest no I ever had in my life. But uh, I'm open. Yeah. I'm open. Yes. Um, and I got I got the nudge that I'm leaving here after 18 years um, in a meditation. And I will 
get the hint where I have to go. I'm trusting That's beautiful. That. I'm trusting that. Um, it's not explainable, and sometimes I'm getting impatient. Um, yeah. Since I'm not a teenager anymore, you know. Uh, <laughs> but yes, you speak so much to my heart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Renata. Is anybody else experiencing that? Is there something that you can, you know, you're really feeling it? A, you don't know where you are or why you're doing what you're doing, and B, you don't think it's what you want to be, but it feels like it's okay, or even better, it feels perfect. Nicole, I'm kind of in the same boat as a couple people here. Um, kind of just new to all of this, you know, just dove into Mind Valley and really getting into, um, you know. Uh, becoming a better person, you know, living in a different, you know, a different vibration and trying to really embrace it all. And I'm living in a place in, uh, and just last night I was looking um, for different apartments and they're not there. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> and right now I'm trying to search and I'm also doing a job search and trying to find a perfect job. And, um, it's so nice to hear these stories because I'm like, am I not supposed to be getting this frustrated? <laughs> I'm like, is it me? Am I creating these blocks? What am I doing? <laughs> so it's really nice to hear that other people do the same. And it's, you know, it's human to be that way. So um, thank you, everybody. For the, not for all not only human, things. Nicole, not, a, not only human, but aware. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, something... I'm sure, you know, we all talk about 3D and 5D and all this kind of stuff. And for a long time, I thought 5D was where it was at. We've got to move into a 5D world. And then when I had this experience that I was telling you about, I suddenly realized that's not what it's about. It's about being able to live a 5D life in a 3D world. This 3D world isn't going anywhere. Not yet anyway. <laughs> yeah. But it's about, it's shifting, it's shifting, but it's not... You know, I, anybody who's read Eckhart Tolle will know that, you know, he talks about the two Earths separating and having two complete things. And that's very much how I felt for a long time. I, I still have a sense of that, but it's just on an energetic level. So rather than being separate, we're, we're sort of on top of each other almost, if you like, at just different, different frequencies. Um, but once I came to that conclusion, which is I know is part of the reason why I'm back here, because God bless him, this is as 3D as it gets. <laughs> Okay, it is not a 5D environment around here, but it's really good for me to help me maintain my 5D way of life in the 3D world. No, I don't I don't always manage it. There's times when it does get the better of me, um, but that's what this is all about, is this journey. Thank you, Wolfgang. Hi, Lisa. I, I would like to share maybe a little bit of a different perspective. I think I'm on the very right place where I am because we looked for this place for years and and we created our place with house and everything. What is the challenge is I, I, I'm, I'm really in, in the edge of the world, in, the, in nature. And I started working online and that was a beautiful shift. And what recently came in my life is actually going out in the world to go to some places to create something. And at the same time, at the same time, something happened that people came here in, I'm really, really living at the end of the world. You don't come accidentally here. So what happens now is people come here in this village to actually and, and ask for breathing. This is something I could have moved anywhere, you know. Uh, it was not about to move at all, but how to attract in my life what I wish or what I'm ready for or what actually attracting it anywhere where you don't go accidentally, how that, that comes together. And that is just beautiful, having the entire balance, being somewhere, going somewhere, and having people come here. And really having the whole spectrum. I used to be somewhere, somebody who was always going somewhere. For the last 10, doing, doing. For, for the last 15 years, I was somebody who was not going anywhere. 
And having now this shift into the whole spectrum and being here, as well as going somewhere and being connected through this space here, being open for it. It's, it's a kind of, I think I surrendered. <laughs> Wolfgang, this is this is the most perfect example. The first thing you said was we've created. Okay, you didn't make something happen, you created, and a creation is an evolution. Yes. So what you have done is you have created the space to allow this to happen. Yes. And I know, I know from the past, you were very much trying to make it happen. And it was hard work, wasn't it? We all got we all got a bit burned out with trying to make it, make it happen. But what you've done is you have surrendered and you've created the space to allow it to happen. And this is exactly how it needs to be, how it's meant to be. This is how we're meant to work, is to create the space. So instead of Wolfgang having to go all over the world to find the people he wants, to just create that space that they come to him. This is true surrender. Well done, Wolfgang. Well done. Miles, is that Miles? Yeah, hello everybody. I'm Maïs, um, Colorado. Oh, Maïs, sorry. No. That's okay. Um, I just wanted to share that uh, I keep thinking I should be doing something else. Like I, I, I keep thinking I've been that I need to be buying a house right now. And the message that I've been getting for the last two years is just wait, 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 wait. And so that's one kind of small area where that where that concept is being demonstrated and i'm just kind of you know it's like well i'll just stay here i mean i i really like where i am um something about my mental programming telling me that i need to be buying a house someplace i don't know i don't know so um i'm kind of taking the flow and you know beautiful stay where I am instead of trying to force something to happen. So thank you. Beautiful, mates. Well done. Well done. And again, this is this is the difference between doing and being, isn't it? Yeah. It's trusting that process, trusting that somebody else is putting you as a pu puzzle piece into the right place of the puzzle instead of us trying trying <laughs> to fit that blue piece of sky <laughs> with three thirds of, <laughs> of the, uh, sorry, three quarters of the rest of the puzzle, blue pieces of sky, trying to find which blue pieces we fit into. So well done, well done. Uh, Leah. Hi, thank you. This oh, you're is a great, great topic. I have worked on releasing, surrendering, accepting and having faith and not getting frustrated and not, and not, but just trying to be. And at the same time, I feel like I'm being, as I say, an Enneagram type nine sloth. I'm just being lazy. So it's that kind of push pull kind of feeling. And yet, yes, I'm surrendering, but sh am I surrendering too much? <laughs> Oh, Lee, thank you. That, that's that, that's beautiful. That That is just, yeah, that, that's just a perfect example. You know, it's the, I should be doing something because this is how we've been trained. We actually, right at this moment in time, the majority of us are not meant to be doing anything. And I'll just, just say a little bit about how I, how, how I transitioned from this being a, a, a mindset coach to really having this message, message to give to the world, to do everything. And I used to talk, and the, the guys who will know, I used to talk about birthing a new world. And when all this happened, I felt like I was a midwife and I was supporting the birthing process. So I was helping other people through this process to come out the other side. And then I felt like I was the midwife trainer and I was teaching others how to do this, how to support others, how to hold that space without realizing that's what I was doing but teaching them how to hold that space for mum to, to give birth to the baby, okay? When I had this experience, and it was 72 hours where I pretty much vacated my body. Um, my body functioned, but I wasn't, I wasn't in it. It was a really weird experience. And when I came out of this, what hit me more than anything is that the whole damn world is in the labour room at the moment. Everybody's trying to <laughs> help everybody 
through this process of birthing a new world. And the message I got so clearly was that who the heck is on the other side to pick up the baby, to wash the baby, to feed the baby, to do everything else with the baby when we get to the other side? And it was very clear to me, that is my job. Much as I want to do my coaching work now, the world is in too much fear. People can't do what they need to do because or they can't be what they need to be because they're busy trying to do what they think they should be doing. So for me, and trust me, this was not where I thought it was going to be. But when, when I came back to the UK I, with this with this thing, I, I this experience, it was you have two to three years of doing nothing, being out of out of the circle, out of the loop. And I so get what you're saying, Leah. It was like, yes, but I should be doing this and I need to be doing that and, and whatever. And I'm surrendering to the process. Now, if you look on paper, you go, what a mess. Yeah, you look at what I'm doing, you go, what a mess. But I've never felt so calm, so peaceful, and so exactly where I need to be right now. And I do not need to do anything. I just need to be, to allow the space, or to create the space to allow things to happen. So if there's anything that you need to do, it's just create that space. Yeah, mums, before they have their baby, they start nesting. Yes, we start creating the space for the baby to arrive. And that's what we're doing at the moment. Yes, we're creating that space because the world's in the delivery room and everybody's screaming and shouting and needing, needing drugs to calm down because it's all too much. Well, actually, some of us don't even need to be in the in the delivery room at all. We need to be on the other side. So those of you who are the struggling and saying, this isn't where I want to be, this isn't what I should be doing. Maybe it's because you're not meant to be in the delivery room. Maybe it's because you're going to help on the other side. And you can't help on the other side if you're burned out from helping everybody in the delivery room. And that was such a powerful realization for me. And that's the wisdom that you talk about income. It didn't come from here. It came from here because this is coming out with every reason why that's not working. Yeah, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. But this, this in here, this knows beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is exactly what I'm meant to be doing right now. Exactly what I'm meant to be doing right now. So just have a look in your own lives. And we'll go through a little bit of a meditation. We're, we're just, maybe not a meditation, but just we'll go through a journey and explore what is going on for you. And notice where you're trying to do. And how you can allow to be. Because as 5D beings, this is what we're being called to do. All this doing, it's in the head. What's the head? That's 3D. That doesn't mean we come into we don't come into 3D. Of course we do. We're interacting with the 3D world. But as we're developing more and more as 5D beings, it's by doing less and being more. Remember, we're called human beings for a reason. We're not called human doings. So just allow yourself to be lazy because we're actually not being lazy. We're recharging. Allow yourself to feel like a sloth because in winter, and this is this is this is a, this is a global a spiritual winter. Okay, we should be hibernating. We should be hibernating right now. But because of this 3D world that we live in, there is no hibernation. It's 24-7, all year round. We're coming through this massive, massive shift. And literally the best way to describe it is giving birth. And anybody who knows, anybody who's even given birth or watched somebody give birth knows that it's painful and it's messy. But we also know that the more we try and push, 
because it's a 3D medical society that we have to do push, push, instead of getting into a position, placing ourselves, creating the space to allow the baby to arrive. We force the baby out. And we wonder why we've got the issues we've got. So it's not about that. It's about trusting the process. I'm not saying that's easy. <laughs> There's times when it's a real challenge. It's just remembering. And this is part of what it is to become a 5D being, to live a 5D life in a 3D world. Because if we were all living in a 5D life, God, it would be so easy. Well, we wouldn't grow. We wouldn't move on to what's beyond the 5D. Yeah, we just sit there. It would be pretty cruisy, of course. And I'm not saying don't enjoy it when we get there. But it's about that, that growth. But to allow that growth, you know, we plant a seed. We leave it in the ground. We don't do anything with it. We don't dig it up and poke it and stuff. We plant it and we allow it. We allow it to grow naturally. Yeah, you're right, Wolfgang. Okay. So any questions before we start? We're just going to, a, we're going on a little journey, hey? Any questions? No? Okay. All right. So just get yourselves nice and comfortable. Um, and we will come back. We'll come back to that um, that PowerPoint. Please remind me <laughs> later on. Um, but for now, we're just going to go into that place of surrender. So just close your eyes. If, if you have some music, Trent, we can use it. If not, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter either way. Okay. So. We're just going to take a couple of minutes. If you want to turn your camera off, that's fine. Just be comfortable. Not do, okay? We don't have to do this. We're just choosing to be this. We're creating the space to allow, to explore this journey that we're on. So just take a couple of nice deep breaths and just feel yourself connecting to your heart. Feel yourself letting go of everything that's in your head. And if you need to, if it helps, um, just shrug your shoulders really tight and then just drop them. And just allow yourself to connect with your heart. While you're in this beautiful space, just explore somewhere in your life that you're trying to make something happen where you haven't got the result that you want. And it could be in your health, it could be your finances, your relationship. It doesn't matter what it is. But where in your life is something not what you want it to be? And just explore in your mind. If you want to write it down, feel free. But just explore in your mind what is it that you're trying to achieve in whichever area it is. And there might be more than one area, but I suggest for now that you just focus on the one area. What is it that you're trying to do? What are you trying to make happen? What is the thing that... Is in your mind, I need to do this, I need to do that. You've got all the steps mapped out. And once you've made a note of that, just become aware of it. Think, wow, that's a doing thing. How can I create the space to allow this to happen? And this truly is the law of attraction, isn't it? We're going to allow something to happen. So what are the steps that you can put in place? And sometimes it's stepping back. But in this one area in your life, what is something that you can just either let go of or just shift your mindset a little bit? And saying, wow, I wonder what I can create here. 
Because curiosity opens up to all sorts of wonderful things. Often when we're needing to, when we're needing to, how classic is that? <laughs> Often when, we, when we're doing instead of being, it's because we're not, we're, we're looking for solutions instead of opening up. The solutions are already here. We don't need to look for them. We need to allow them to emerge. So what are you doing that it might help? If you stop doing, how can you turn that into being? And just for a moment, go into the end result of what it is you think you want. Be there. Be aware of what it feels like to have that whatever it is that you want. Notice all around you. And now notice within you. Look inside and see who are you being right now? Not what are you doing. Who are you being? Now you've achieved, you've created, you've allowed the space for the magic to happen in your life. Who are you being? And just explore that for a moment. Explore what it feels like. And notice on every level, on the physical, on the emotional, on the spiritual level, what does that really feel like? And when you truly allow yourself to be, all three of those will become one. There'll be no separation between the physical, the emotional, and the spiritual. Just notice what that feels like. Where do you feel in your body? Allow the words to describe it, to emerge. And they might not be words that you've thought about in the past. So notice every cell in your body. What is it being? Not what is it doing? What is it being right now? Who are you being right now? I'm just going to give you a moment just to sit and absorb that because that's the true essence of who you are. So just sit and enjoy it.
feel it. And just notice when that doing mind comes back in. And just drop back down into your heart and feel. Sometimes creating the space means spring cleaning, clearing things out of the way. And just notice what happens to your breath when you start being. Notice how easy it is. And notice how powerful it is, how it supports you. And just notice when your doing mind kicks in again. And come back to being. There's nothing for you to do here. Just be. And the more time you spend in this being space, the more this will become your natural state. In fact, it is your natural state. The way we're living at the moment isn't natural. You may be aware of ideas coming in. Things you could do. Not things that you should do but things that you could do or things that you really want to do. And this is what drives inspired action. If you feel like you have to do something, you're doing, you're, you're being, uh, sorry, you're doing, you're making things happen. When you get into this space of being, all the inspiration you need will come. The answers are already there. You're just uncovering them, allowing them to emerge. So just very gently, you can come back to this, you'll be able to watch the recording, listen to the recording. Just very gently, before we leave this space, just really absorb it. And when you feel ready, just start to bring yourself back. Bring yourself back into your body, integrating your being. And 
Just start to feel yourself in your 3D body. You go your fingers and toes, have a big stretch. I love watching Wolf getting stretched. <laughs> And just very gently bring yourselves back. And just know that that is where we're going when we allow ourselves to be. Yeah. We don't need to go anywhere. We just need to allow. Okay, is everybody back? Everybody okay? All right, has anybody got anything just quickly you'd like to share that came up for you on that? No, you don't have to, but if there's something that you that really resonated with you and you'd like to share it, then please feel free. Yes, Nicole. Um, I definitely got some great ideas. I have, I have a couple of job opportunities. Like I said, I was looking for a job and um wasn't sure if they were kind of the right fit, but um, telling them that and saying, this is my concern and, you know, because I feel like it's not going to be challenging enough for me. And I'm like, that may be something that they're looking for and maybe they want to do some growth. So I'm like, if that works, perfect, then we'll move forward. So it was nice to get that solution. <laughs> and the solutions are there all the time, Nicole. <laughs> but we can't find them when we're trying to make them happen. Yeah, right. We have to allow them to emerge. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like the juxtaposition of our society, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, do, 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 but when we're doing, we're in the way. We're literally yeah. in the way. It's, it's like we're digging up the seeds that we've planted, <laughs> yeah. and then we wonder why nothing grows. Well done. That's that's great. Well done, Nicole. Anybody yeah. else? Awesome. Sorry, I'm reading this, some of these. Uh, comments coming through all right so i really encourage you to take some time every day to be and eventually this will be our main <laughs> our main state of state of being instead of state of doing this is part of the surrender process that we talked about now i will i will share this well um vivian perhaps you could share this in the group for anybody who who wants it and it's just a little bit that helps us see um how to be all right so allowing others to be who they are not to become who we think they should be but just allowing them to be who they are and i want you to have a look at, we'll go through all of these but just have a look and see where are you perhaps not being where are you not embracing this as much as perhaps you could be thanks vivian Oh, allow yourself to be who you are. How many of us really allow ourselves to do that? Yeah. Allow yourself to truly be who you are. And that takes that takes a little bit of time. It doesn't take effort. It takes allowing. It takes you to allow yourself to be who you are. Okay. And this one, don't force situations. This is such a big one. Because if we're forcing, we're making things. We're making things. We're trying to make things happen. The chances of us succeeding are pretty remote, let me tell you. <laughs> we might get some results, but we rarely get the results that we want. Yes, it's about allowing things to happen. And then the solutions will emerge. All right, that's what we already heard from Nicole. All right, allow those solutions to emerge. Those solutions are already there. They've already been planted. We just need to allow them to emerge. All right. And uncertainty is reality. I'm one of these really weird people, and I'm in the minority that thrives on uncertainty. People say, oh, I'd love to have your lifestyle, but most people wouldn't because I don't know from one day to the next where I'm going to be. <laughs> okay. Um, but uncertainty is reality and it's okay. Okay. It's more than okay. It is. So embrace it. You don't have to be quite as crazy as I am, but just embrace that uncertainty. Uncertainty brings opportunities. Yes. When we have certainty, there's only one way, but when we have uncertainty, 
it's because there's opportunities. So embrace, embrace the uncertainty, which is the last one. So embrace it. So we'll make sure that that goes into the Facebook group for you so you can just have a look. But just take a moment and look at where, where you're not allowing this to happen. Yeah. Where are you not allowing this to happen? And then what can you, who can you be to allow it to happen? So I almost said, what can you do to make it happen? <laughs> okay, this is how we're conditioned, isn't it? Yeah. Who can you be to allow that to happen? All right. So, oh, we're we're on time. Any quick questions from anybody? Just know that we are human beings and we have everything that we need right here, right now. We just have to allow it to emerge. We just have to create the space. So embrace the uncertainty because that's full of opportunities. And just be. Be the very best you you can be. Thank you.